welcome back to another video so in today's video let's talk about the final part of the plumbing works so as i did say earlier at some videos the plumbing works was going to be in three parts the very first one was during the foundation the second one was before the plastering of the house and the final one has to do with after the plastering after the towel work so that it's still in the um, sanitary wear and then you, you know went ahead to do the final plumbing part so let me just go into the details of that um, before even starting off with the plumbing works i was looking at how much it was going to cost to finish that phase you know that's the final part because it did involve installing the pipes that is the um, wastewater pipe as well as the sewage pipe and then connecting the service line that is the water uh, pipe that is going to go into the bathroom and then that of the kitchen yeah and then some few other things as well as doing the sanitary uh, wear installation and then the kitchen wear installation so uh, in all it was going to cost me about thousand yeah around thousand cities of you know labor to be able to have everything done and I just thought about just like you know that's that's a little bit expensive so yeah I just thought of uh, doing everything by myself because it wasn't something which I couldn't do I could do it's just I was going to take uh, some time as well as it would require a lot of effort or maybe extra hands to be able to get things done so the DD came and then I started off with the laying of the pipe so I went ahead to dig the ground it quite it took quite a while because you have to dig it I have to dig it by myself collect the sand from it and then you know continue digging so I was fortunate to have got assistance from one um, gentleman who is a local around so he came to assist me with the digging collected the sand from it and then I went out to install the pipe hi and uh, welcome back to another video so today I'm doing some plumbing works trying to connect the pipe from the WC to the um, biodigester tank that we have over here as well as that of the um, wastewater. I'm doing this myself because the amount the plumber said he was going to take uh, is too much so then I had no choice to just try to do this myself. So I'll finish with the digging. What I have to do next is to lay the pipe so I'll be adding a clean out somewhere in the middle of there and then I'll be putting a vent which will go up there to you know, take away bad odor and then from there I'll come to the biodigester part and I'll show you the process so basically that's what it's been like finished with the digging uh, I'm going to move on to the pipes and then from there I'll continue to the biodigester so let's do this together as usual so i started off with the four inches pipe which is for the sewage so we had to do three pieces of that so each size is 10 feet so a total of about 30 feet from the distance over there all the way to the biodigester so we use four inches and then during the installation of that we added a vent which is very important to so put a t over here somewhere here so you see the from the videos when i was doing the installation we put a t somewhere over here and then connected a vent pipe to it so that is the vent at the top the purpose of the vent is to be able to take out any you know, bad odor scent that is especially with regard to the biodigester and then the toilet or the wc if with some situations if you don't have a vent you are likely to be having some scent coming from your wc yes even though there might be water in it too that's the purpose of the vent which is performing perfectly well and then after that we also installed a clean out so i've spoken about clean out before which was in the previous video about the biodigester we installed a clean out between the distance from the vent pipe all the way to the biodigester the purpose of the clean out is should in case just assuming there's a there's any blockage or anything that requires to maybe push or take you know try to figure out what is in the pipe you can just simply open a vent push pipes or maybe something through it and then take away whatever is blocking the pipe so that is the purpose of the vent so we installed vent pipe for that is the vent for the four inches pipe and to be able to do that we have to install y so the y goes just in the form of a t one from each side, uh, the left side, the right side, and then you have the white part coming to the top. So that's why you put a vent, uh, no, the clean out instead to um, the, the pipe, and then it goes all the way to the, um, the biodigester. So after doing the installation of the WC or the, yeah, the waste pipe that is for the sewage, we also went out to do the waste pipe for the uh, kitchen, wastewater, as well as that of the 
the bathroom so this place is a little bit airy so i might be getting some distorted sound i try as much as possible to stay close so yeah i don't have my sound you know becoming terrible so we install the wastewater pipe for the bathroom the basin and then the kitchen wastewater so we connected all together as one pipe which goes all the way to the soak away pit for that also we installed a clean out as well just the same purpose for the the wc um, waste pipe so just in case maybe there's any form of blockage or anything it's easier for us to um, have that sorted out with the vent no not a vent that is the clean out yes so put a clean out also almost at the same um, position we did for the four inches pipe now after that we went ahead to connect that to the um, soccer way pit so we had to do a little bit of chisel around the soccer way to be able to position the pipe into it now for the soccer way pit it was also important for us to add a vent pipe to it we had to do that later because we noticed that there was some scent coming into the especially the uh, bathroom area because we didn't install a vent pipe for the soccer way pit so that's the vent pipe we did install for the the soccer way so that's the vent pipe over there we installed it we just did some swatches so work here and then we connected a pipe to it a bend and then we connected a two inches pipe to it so for the soak away we continue to use the two inches pipe that was used uh for the whole um you know building so we didn't increase it to three inches and uh, because of the distance it's not so much of a long distance so two inches was okay to use for that so we used two inches for the continuation of the wastewater pipe as well as continue that of the kitchen and then it goes all the way to the soak away pit and then after that uh yeah doing all the plumbing works gluing putting them together installing everything uh making sure this is filmed by you know putting the clips by it then we went ahead to also connect the pipes that is the service line pi um, pipes which is going to supply water from the water storage tank into both the kitchen and then that of the washroom area now for that the size of pipes that was used within the house that is doing the uh, service line doing a connection in the house that is for the kitchen and then the bathroom was half inch pipe that is what was used so what we used outside was three quarter pipe now three quarter is slightly bigger than that of the half inch pipe and the idea or the purpose of that is to pump in a lot of water through the three quarter pipe and then once it's going to be converted to the half inch it is going to increase a little bit of pressure that is if you are not using any water pump so that is the purpose of that we could have just used um half inch throughout but we connected from three quarter and then converted it down to half inch so that increases the pressure which comes or flows into the house so you see a connection of that as well we did for the kitchen area and then what i had to also do for the bathroom area is just the same connection then for the um, bathroom area that is the pipe so let me just show you as i was saying this is the three quarter pipe it comes all the way here and it was converted to half inch pipe which goes into the house so this is the uh, converter over here now when we were doing this the platform for the water storage tank had been done uh, but the concrete was not cast yet so we uh, pass a pipe through this side so it passes through the concrete and and it goes it appears from that side before the concrete was cast on top of this so uh yeah that is basically the connection around this side and then when you come all the way here you notice that we also did we've done maybe from some of the videos you see that there's a little bit of change in the configuration of connection over here because we had to ask that there was no water uh, pump now there's a water pump and then the, there's two filters as well so initially we just had one filter so let me just show you um so this is also going into the house this is going to the kitchen you see a video of that when it was being installed it goes all the way into the kitchen and then when you take a look at it there's a t over here so this goes here connects to the pipe we saw behind there and then goes into the bathroom and this is a, a vent sorry this is a filter a water filter there's another one here let me just show you that i see it. so we also have another uh filter here i just covered it with um this so that you know it's not so um open here so we have um, one filter here 
and then one here now also during the installation of the the water storage tank uh putting it on top of the platform initially i connected directly to the filter that was one of the filters and then it goes directly into the house and because the water the quantity of water in the water storage tank as there was no much it wasn't able to get the water into the house with the filter there's there's a filter within it so i took out the filter and then we left with the container so it was able to get water into the house um as at then um so i felt there was a need to bring in a water pump so that's a water pump which is over there so we did we did the configuration so what is happening now is that in this water storage tank which has water full in it um it is going all the way from here it comes to the water pump which is over there it has power in it i haven't turned it on yet and then the water uh pump pumps the water out of it it goes through this it comes through the water filter it comes all the way here goes through the second water filter and then goes into the house so this is to the bathroom area this is to the kitchen area now within all this configuration you see this um devices so these are either air, air um, valve or ball valve which normally seven as a stopper so it's you close it you close it like this and then breaks water from going you open it and then it makes water flow in so you notice that we have about i think about four of it here so we have one here we have two here we have three here and then there's also one here making it a total of four so this place looks a little bit tight because yes the space here is not so much so you have to manage with everything now also for the configurations you notice that this uh this is known as a union so what is happening is that this can be opened and then you take this apart so you take this whole component apart when you come here to you can take this whole component apart you take this also component apart and so on the purpose for using unions is that um, especially for the water storage tank once the water is empty it has to be cleaned if it's very dirty so i just did that recently i took it off and then cleaned it before put it back so i was able to do that because i used this union so i just open it that is once there's no water in it if i open it now it's going to be chaos because there's water in it and then um, over here also because a water pump machine has to be um maybe with time has to be serviced and the rest so there should be a way you can disconnect it so that is you take off this union you take off this union so you're able to take off the water uh pump and then what do whatever service that has to be done to it before that and then also for the um filter for the filter most of the time you just be buying the filter itself which is within it it's a white um cotton like material which is within it and yeah so you can see it's actually seven its purpose you notice it was very white you can see that so this is the first point of the filter and then it comes to this so this is much cleaner than this because this is doing a lot of filtering and then once it comes here it just has to do a little bit more filtering before it goes into the house so yes that is the purpose of the water filter so if i press this you notice there's water coming which shows that you know it's functioning properly also talking about the water pump it is very important to note that there are different sizes of water pump you know for different purposes and so on so this is a small house the distance is very short so then there's no need to get a very big size water pump so this is a 0.5 horsepower water pump as a very important consideration uh, for getting this particular pump was also to look at the energy consumption of course you are using solar we don't have so much power or energy in abundance so it is very important to take that into consideration and then the water pump also comes with a booster or you need a booster to be able to uh, regulate how it functions so what is happening is that the booster is installed on top of it which um when you open the tap when it is on and you open the tap inside it's going to turn on to be able to pump water once you, you close the tap and it's going to cut power off yes to the pump so that the water pump stops if you are not using a booster the water pump what the water pump is going to do is just going to continuously run because there's nothing to regulate how it functions or performs so the um the water pump which is 0 0.5 horsepower water pump as um this the energy consumption is 535 watts and then the the booster is also like about 200 or something so it is out of like around 800 um watts and the good thing is this is not going to run for continuously so it only runs once water is 
opened or a tap is open inside so if you are using a wc once you flash it then what i'll need to go back into it and that is just done within some few seconds it fills up because the water is you know being popped at a very uh fast pace so it pumps water through the filter and then to the second filter and then goes inside it was very interesting to note that once the water tank was full and without even the pump on water was still able to get into the house passing through this filter so it was very interesting to note of course the pressure wasn't so high so sometimes we use it without the pump um the only, the only um case you might want to be using a water pump is when the water is coming to a certain level where it won't be able to flow through the filters into it because of maybe the level of gravity so that's how come you're using a water pump so yeah it's really serving its purpose very well so i'll take you inside and i'll show you uh, the water flow without you know um, the water pump on and then also show you your water flow with the water pump and it's also very interesting that this pump is a little bit silent so it's not so noisy compared to what we have uh, back at where we used to live so yeah these are some of the things you need to know about the water pump um, before you make a purchase especially if you have a limited um, energy so that is just about it for uh, where to get to the water pump so this is water flowing without the pump. Now when I turn on the pump, you notice that. So that is the water flowing with the pump turned on. So I'm going to go ahead to turn that off. Aside from the water pump, it is also important to note that the water filters do come at different sizes. So this is a three quarter water pump, sorry, water filter. Uh, the same for this one there's one inch water filter and so on so depending on the use case or the configuration that you have within your um your place we determine which size you should go in for so this is three quarter then you have some valve sockets here threaded valve socket here which is going into the um the water filter and then you have the union you have the bends and so on as part of the entire configuration for the water filter so that is basically the configuration that is happening over here having a union having a an air valve or a ball valve which prevents water or breaks water from going to a certain point so this is one going to the bathroom so i can just stop this and then water is not going to flow there and i can close this and water is not going to flow into the kitchen as well and then as you can see we've installed the burglar proof for the water pump and then that of the um the gas cylinder here so this is not entirely done it has to be chiseled this goes into it and then a padlock is going to lo lock it however you can't open it because this water uh, filter is there in a, uh, serving as a blockade to prevent you from entirely opening it and i'll of course have this redone like um properly dressed and then it's going to be painted to prevent uh, rust so basically that is what is going on over here and yes so for the water storage tank as well there's this pipe which is an outlet pipe what is happening with this is that this here is a check valve is a one-way check valve so the purpose of putting this here is that once there's a full of water in the, the water storage tank it definitely will need to come out so if it rains and there's no one around to open it it has to find its way out sometimes it will just come through there um, the top cover which will flow all the way around this and basically may end up going in here which I don't want that so I have to be able to control that so I installed this pipe and then added this check valve which this is three quarter check valve which is a one-way valve so it has an opening and then a closing so the way it is installed water can come out through it however nothing can go through this and go in there so maybe if you have lizards or small ants or yeah um, other you know small insects which might want to go through it they won't be able to go through here so if you look here you notice there's a direction to it over here so you can see that yes it comes down and then it's able to allow water to flow out of the entire system so that is basically what's happening here so we also had um, electric cable drop here which is going to um, the water pump so that was possible we didn't initially make provision for that but uh, the electrician was able to go into the ceiling because we made uh way in the bathroom area and then he was able to connect that so the, so uh, the switch for this is just by the socket close to the wall on the um in the bathroom where the basin is so we connected that and then passed this through the pipes making sure it is not exposed so it goes through this pipe 
goes through this and then goes all the way here goes all the way there and then goes inside and then yeah some people may be wondering isn't animals going to be you know hiding in there well the water pump makes noise so you are not likely to have animals staying in there and of course it's an open space even though i'm looking at how to cover the down part so that you wouldn't have any animals going there just as for this as well so this is covered once we close it it's going to be okay yeah so basically that is for the plumbing part now the cost of the plumbing i don't have it off it so i'll be putting that on the screen so that you see the total cost that has gone into the various phases of the entire plumbing works and then also the installation i use just a day for the laying of the pipes that is a waste pipe both for the water and then the solid waste into the biodigester it was that same day we did the installation of via the biodigester and then that same day i did the sanitary wire installation as well because we had to use it so i'll take you through that in a different video how i went about the installation of the especially the wc the basin and then the pipes for the bathroom area and so on so it was just a day work uh however it was very tedious yeah you know squatting going down and so on it's because i'm not used to doing that every now and then i got a bit tired but yeah we we're able to complete everything within that um sp uh, same day so i saved about thousand cities of cost yeah trying to get everything done and the good thing is most of the tools are tools that we have or i have available over here so it's easier for me to be able to go about doing some of these uh work so i think i've basically covered everything that needs to be covered here um if there's anything more that i haven't covered you can draw my attention uh by leaving a comment in the comment section so that i'll tackle that or maybe talk about that in a different video so in a different video or maybe in the next video i might talk about the sanitary wear installation as well as the kitchen wear installation and then maybe talk about the cabinet as well so that will basically be about it for this video now before i conclude let me just touch on one more thing which is also important to talk about during the installation of the water storage tank uh, there was a need also to install the outlet of the rainwater which is going to be directed into the um, water storage tank so that once it rains we are able to harvest water and then from that we are able to also you know filter the water before it goes into the house and even before then you notice that we've also added up two more panels to our existing system so i'll talk about that also in a different video the total plumbing cost for the third phase was 824 this was possible because we had some of the materials from the previous um, works that was done that was the very first one the foundation part as well as um, before the plastering so we didn't have to purchase a lot of materials during the final phase and of course i saved about thousand cities on um, labor so we didn't have to pay anything well i paid the gentleman who assisted me um, about i think about 200 cities for the assistance so yes that was what went into the cost so the overall total cost for the plumbing works is 2172 cities which includes the first phase, the second phase, and then the final phase. And out of that, 1,252 cities went into materials, and then 920 cities went into labor. So that is with regard to the plumbing works. Yeah, so we went ahead to one of the um, outlets was here, one was here. Uh, so you had to connect them together to become one and then drop it into the water storage tank. Now, there's a way around the water um, cover the storage tank cover so that it is possible to take off the lid move the water tank out and clean it if it has to be um, cleaned so yeah so that's on top so that's how come this is lifted a little bit to make way for that at the top so basically that is just about it for this video if you haven't subscribed yet kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see too i'll see you in the next one